When I say the words back to school shopping, you probably automatically think of things like pencils, notebooks, and crayons. Well, that may be true for younger students, but what about those heading back to campus this fall at colleges and universities? We do a ton of business for back to school. For stores like Best Buy, back to school season is rivaled perhaps only by Black Friday. Uh, we get lots of students, lots of seniors, lots of incoming freshmen coming in with their parents, their grandparents. And while even college students need pens and pencils... Computers has probably hit the hardest, but also TV, small appliances like um, mini fridges and things like that. Best Buy sales associate Caleb Rowell says the back to school season starts as early as June or July. But I'd probably say August has really hit the most because that's kind of when, you know, it's crunch time. Everybody needs to get a new computer or a new TV for the dorm and stuff like that. For ULM MBA student Olivia Barfield, there's something else that adds to that growing supply list. Books. Because they really drain you. I mean, you'll work all summer and then half of what you earn goes to your books and your online courses and things like that. Barfield says budgeting is key to a successful school year, and for her, that budget can be tight. I don't eat out very much. I don't go shopping very much. I just save as much as I can, and then, I mean, because you really don't know how much it's going to cost until right before you go back to school, until your teachers email you and tell you, hey, your book's either going to cost $50, which is pretty, pretty good, or, hey, your book's going to cost $250. Barfield and Raul agree it's best to have a plan when going about your back to school shopping, especially with big ticket items like a laptop. It really depends on your budget and your needs, you know. So if you spend, you know, a good chunk of change on a good computer that'll last you four, five, six years, that would be a better solution in our mind than buying a two or three hundred dollar computer that'll only last you two or three years, you know. Well, I did research on a cheap laptop and I got a cheap laptop. Uh, that's lasted me actually a pretty good while. And don't worry, if you've been putting off buying what you need to head back to class, there's still time. If you're pretty good with computers, you know, uh, getting a new computer and set it up usually takes, you know, less than an hour. And Barfield says another tip, you can cut costs by not splurging on that new television or microwave. She says you can save money watching TV and movies on your computer and taking advantage of campus dining options.